Okay, hi guys. Um, just Ricky here, and, and um, trying to make a little video. It's easier than typing a million words, and hopefully a little bit more entertaining. Um, trying to demonstrate to you guys what I've done with this Mayday Stadium. Um, you're seeing right now the different lots of uh, what you have seen before in screenshots, and just looking at it at more details, you can see among the top of the canopies of the stadium where there's a lot of uh, overlapping and uneven components, and um, it's not very sightly. I mean, if you fly close enough, you probably will notice it. Um, and at the same time, if I can trim down the polygon, make the model a little bit more tidy, uh, a little bit more tidier, sorry, um, then. Hopefully we'll get a better result um, without knowing what Falcon modeling is like nowadays after a year away from this whole thing. So anyway, fast motioning through the whole thing. What I'm trying to do is uh, fix up the canopy and enhance each one of them. Uh, the trick is actually make 16 of these components fit together in a circle or slightly oval shape. I mean, it's not really make you know, huge difference but trying to do a decent job at it so just jigging it up fine tuning it all um, doing it you know meticulously bit by bit and also adding an extra lip around the short front edge you can see here now um, that bit there so to actually give us small visual blockage so you don't look right through into the arch structure uh, then that way I can actually uh, eliminate the need to provide a underside to the whole canopy structure uh, saving some polygon below even for lot zero um, for any additional lots there's just no point and no need for actually having you know that sort of detail I don't think if I'm not already adding in too much detail already here but yeah this was a major pain in the ass trying to get it all fit right and I mean just because it, it was my skill of um, 3D modeling at such a level that made it a pain in the ass I just want to say um, anybody else who knows what they're doing can probably just do one and make an array and then turn it into the whole stadium with, uh, in front of your eyes but alright anyway um, first attempt trying to get it together I think that it might fit okay let's try and line it up make a full circle and Close, but no cigar. So um, you know, try again, um, and just try and see where I need to actually refine and polish up the model. So yeah, you can see I'm going by the good old prototyping method rather than mathematical method. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, learn a little bit about the interface of the program, especially I haven't used 3D for about a whole year, so um, just getting back into it is good exercise. But yeah, anyway, getting closer to you know the actual thing, so trying to fit it back together into the whole Colosseum structure, um, and blending it all back together, comparing it to my previous model. Uh, I've noticed I made it into more like a circle, perfect circle shape, rather than a uh, X shape, which seems to be the aerial photo and some reference have. But in some depends on your angle. Sometimes it actually looks quite like a perfect circle. So. Um, either way, it's just a minor jig. You can see I transformed it horizontally and uh, flat, so it made it a little bit flatter and you know, lean on the edge. Polycon, uh, poly count so far. I'm trying to test out each one of the pedal and um, going into the Mesh Lab software, and somehow it just renders funny. So um, you know, don't know why it has a double sided polygon thing. Um, inside and outside so I went back and just sorted it out and then after that gone back again and um, tried it again and more or less well basically I exported it out as a collider file is that the format? I don't know anyway the one to start with C anyway and, uh, and then re-import it back to the mesh lab and this is the end result um, some minor set fighting on the oval inside the stadium because it I think I drew a physical oval around the base so I can actually have a high res texture of the spots ground. Um, now I'm trying to put it into Blender and you know, boom, nothing happens, shooting blank. So yeah, going back to the Mesh Lab where it's you know, trying to do the Explorer as a 3DS file and import it back in as a 3DS file and um, still no go. So yeah, I think I spent enough time today trying to figure it out. 